Hello there and welcome to Combat Patrols issues 3 and 4. I will be doing the next two issues in a different video as I don't want these videos to be too super long. So with issue 3 we get some uh, Infernus Marines. We get a set of 5. These are all push fit models so when it comes to putting them together there will be no glue included. We obviously get the 5 bases as well. We also get some cardboard scenery pieces. I think these are actually going to be used later on in the mission so we'll check that out when we get to it. But my favorite piece and the coolest part is we actually get some data cards, um, some pop-out data cards. Uh, we get eight of them all for everything we've got so far and for the next couple of weeks. So, uh, fun little bonus feature that I wasn't expecting. Opening up issue three, the first thing we come across is the how to build. So we're going to get that done straight away before we look at any more of the magazine. As I said earlier, there's no glue required, so I just snipped off the pieces, clean them up using the mold line remover, and then finally fit them all together. Once they're together, we've got our very first unit of Space Marines. We also had three spare pieces as well, so if you're new to collecting, make sure you keep hold of these. Don't throw them away, because they might come in handy in the future. Going through the rest of the book, we've got lots of lovely lore once again, and it's a good read for the people who are brand new to this, and it's a good read uh, even if you're not new to it. As we've got Inferno Space Marines, we're going more in depth into the Space Marines, explaining a little bit more about sort of companies and sort of various aspects of the Marines. You also get a nice little hint into the future as well uh, by showing off what the Terminators are like. Then we move on to the next section, which is uh, more of that fun little naming uh, thing you can do if you uh, if you can be so bothered i might do them once i've got all the marines but at the moment i'm gonna give it a miss we've also got a data sheet on the back as well which is kind of now defunct as we've actually got physical cardboard copies and a nice little uh, name your space marine unit section after that we've got the next mission but i'm going to do both the missions um, from these two magazines um, together uh, well not together but one after another uh, but this one appears to have mission three um, before the next one which has mission two so I think they've kind of either got those mixed around or they just uh, well mislabeled them. Before we jump into playing the actual game we're gonna have a quick look at issue four. Issue four is the first time we're gonna get some paint so we can actually start painting our miniatures. We get three paints this time one for Space Marines and two that are going to be much more useful for the Tyranids. We also get a nice little starter brush as well. I'm not massively keen on Games Workshop's brushes, um, but I've never used a starter brush, so we'll see how we do. So opening this magazine, the very first thing we see is the how to paint, and we've got a nice little diagram of what we're going to need. So that includes a water pot, a place where you can have a palette, and some tissue so you can clean your brush. You also want to make sure you grab your previous models as well before we start painting them. I'm not going to paint the Von Ryan Leapers the way the magazine is actually going to tell me because I've already got a Tyranid army underway and I've already got a specific uh, paint scheme for those. So I'm actually going to paint all of the rest of the Nids uh, that colour scheme. I will, however, paint the Tyranid Prime as I only really need one of those. Next few pages are basically sort of covering a few painting tips and things that beginners are going to need are quite useful tips to be honest when you are a beginner because uh, it includes uh, explaining that you need to uh, sort of thin your paints because it's something that a lot of people don't realize um, that you have to do so they just go ahead and sort of slap the paint on but this shows you sort of what you're sort of going to need to get a nice smooth finish on your models so turning the page, the very first thing we're going to be doing is painting those Space Marines and then we'll be painting the Tyranids, but Space Marines, according to this, are going to be first. Also shows the exact reason why you should never glue down characters with capes until after you've painted them because it becomes very troublesome later on. Now I've already got my craggy blue, so I'm going to use the older one rather than the new one. Following the tips, I'm going to make sure I put plenty of paint on my plate and then I'm going to water it down sufficiently so it becomes nice and smooth so there's no horrible bumps and lumps when the paint dries. This is one of the longer processes that you'll come across when you're sort of miniature collecting, so my advice is basically listen to some music or do what I do, which is put some TV show that I sort of absolutely adore uh, on in the background so I can have some fun and listen to that along with the painting. 
So once the Marines are out of the way, we move on to the next page, and it's basically for the Nids. As I said before, I'm only going to be doing the Tyranid Prime. The rest are going to get painted in a completely different color scheme, um, but I will spray them up and paint them um, as I go along with the magazine. Much like McCraggy Blue, I actually have two Wraith Bones, so I'm not going to open the new one, and I'm just going to use my current one. So once again, very patiently, you have to go through three coats to make sure you get a nice even finish. I know that seems like quite a lot, but um, in the long run, when you get more experience, you're probably gonna buy some sprays and things like that as it makes things a lot easier and a lot quicker. So here we are, that's the first set sprayed. I'm gonna spray up the Von Ryan Leapers tomorrow. It's a bit windy and wet outside, so I can't quite do that for now. So moving on with the issue, we've got a little bit of lore once again, but then we immediately dive into sort of the naming thing with Space Marine characters. This time we're going to give that captain a name, or a title, I should I should say. And then we'll do the same with the Tyranid characters. So before I played the missions, I went ahead and sprayed the Von Rhein Leapers. I still haven't glued them, um, so I'm a bit worried about when I actually get around to dry brushing and see how they hold. With that out of the way, I'm going to jump on to the missions. So in this issue, we're basically just being taught that some weapons have special rules and how to apply those special rules. We're also being taught um, how the sort of strength versus um, sort of toughness works. We're also going to use those handy dandy little cardboard cutouts they gave us. And much like the last few issues, this is still very much a tutorial uh, sort of aspect to play the game. So it's very slowly teaching the players uh, how to play and what to do. So I set up the board, but instead of just using one of the first Marines, I decided to actually use all five. As I wanted to get this uh, little aspect of the game a little bit faster than I normally would, because I'm only really playing it for demonstration purposes. The mission is primarily made out to show sort of how special weapons of these weapons work. Like for example, you don't actually need to roll to hit for these, uh, these Space Marine weapons. You just need to roll to wound. So for the next issue, issue four, which for some reason has mission two in it, I'm pretty certain that's probably a, uh, an error or a proofreading error that they didn't actually check it out. This one is mostly about uh, combat again. Um, once again, we're just running through how melee combat works. This time it's three of the Infernus Marines against one Von Ryan Leaper. This issue, however, does go a little bit further than that and start to explain how the data sheets work um, a lot more than the previous issues. And we're starting to actually look at the attack sequence and how uh, sort of more in depth the actual game is rather than just rolling dice here and there. So for this mission, we will be breaking out our handy dandy little data sheet cards. Absolutely love that they included those. We do seem to have a bit of Space Marine bias going into this magazine because once again, the Space Marine player gets to go first, which is Basically, in the end, obviously going to mean the death of the overall Leaper, because there's only one of them. However, this is very useful and pretty good practice for those brand new players and people who have never actually even touched a war game before. So, this obviously, these very first missions are set out for those. As it's a three on one beatdown, naturally, the Von Ryan Leaper lost. So, there's issues three and four for Combat Patrol. I've got to say, I'm very impressed with what we've got so far. It's good that they've given some paints quite early on so people can actually start really delving into what the full hobby is actually like. I really love the little data sheets that we've got and uh, enjoying the fact we've also got some objectives. I think the progress so far has been quite good. We've now got one unit each and one hero each for uh, both armies. I'll be back next week with the next two issues. Like I said uh, in the last, issue, uh, last video, I should say, uh, I'm going to cut these into uh, sort of two issues per one as I don't want the videos to be too long. So thank you very much for watching. And if you want to see more, uh, give us a subscribe and I will catch you later. Bye.